Hello again, everyone. Today I'll be doing another yoga class for you. This one's gonna be a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna throw some harder poses in there, some challenge poses, uh, and we're gonna flow a little bit quicker. So if you did my class before um, and you thought it was a little bit difficult, still try this. I'm definitely encouraging you to try this, but just be aware that there's gonna be some harder stuff and be honest with yourself about what you're ready for. Uh, if you are a more advanced yogi, welcome. I also encourage you to go back and take my more basic class because you can always learn more. You know, sometimes we're doing these crazy tricks and we forget how hard a warrior one is or how hard an up dog is. And sometimes it's nice to revisit that, get a little bit back to the basics and it's just gonna make you stronger in the rest of your practice. All right, if you get overwhelmed or anything like that, you can always come back to down dog or child's pose. Down dog, relax the shoulders. Relax the heels, lift that tailbone. If you're comfortable here, you can chill out here, let the head hang. If you need to come all the way down to child's pose, let the forehead come to the mat, the knees can be together or apart. Everyone, let's start in child's pose. We'll get up pretty quickly. All right, you ready? Come down, knees can be together or apart as long as the toes are together. I'm choosing to do my apart today because I ran yesterday and I need for my hips. So press those hips back. Start to bring that chest down, the forehead down toward the mat. Think about your spine extending long from your tailbone all the way up through the top of your head. Tailbone pressing back on the exhale. Top of the head reaching forward on the inhale. Two more deep, full breaths. Fill up the belly and push the air out. Squeeze the abs. Deep inhale. Exhale, squeeze. On your next inhale. Lift up, maybe onto the elbows first, then onto the hands. Get those knees back underneath you if they were somewhere else. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, press those shoulders back. Inhale, heart forward, belly drops, look up. Exhale, round, press into the hands, belly in. Inhale, heart forward. And back in and up. Again, heart forward, back. In and up, last one. Forward, inhale. Exhale, round, press into the hands, belly in and up. Come back to neutral. Take that foot back behind you. It honestly doesn't matter which one, just pick one. <laughs> now from here, take a deep breath. Press back into the heel, back of the knee is as high as it can be. Get a calf stretch here, inhale forward. Exhale, press one more time forward and press. I want you to press so hard in your hands. Press those shoulders back and down, suck the belly in, lift that knee, tap it down. Inhale forward, exhale, press back and lift. Tap it down, rock forward, press it back and lift and hold down. Forward, back, look down between your hands, lift and hold, last one, down. Forward, back, hold it up. Pulse it up and in, eight, seven, six. Try to lift that thigh up into your chest. Four, burn it out. Three, two, one, set it down. Rock back over your wrists. Extend that back leg all the way back. Reach the right arm forward. Extend, 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 reach. Lift the head, bend the knee, grab the ankle. You can stop at any point in this pose. From here, you want to press the ankle as hard as you can into the arm to lift it up. Lift the head slightly, but not too much. Like 45 degrees, maybe. 
And last inhale, gently release forward and back. And both hands down, both feet, knees down. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Cat cow again, except tuck those toes. Float those knees. Option to keep them on the ground if you want. Now from here, make sure you're not getting in cat already. Roll those shoulders back, ready? Here we go. Inhale, heart forward, belly drops. Exhale, round, press forward. Inhale, drop, reach. Exhale, round, pull those knees in towards your face. Forward and round, exhale. Two more of each. Round, this should be hard. Bring it forward and round, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop those knees down, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Opposite leg back, yeah? Really straighten that knee. That's how you're gonna get the calf stretch. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale forward. Exhale, push back. You ready? Lift that knee. Tap it down. Shift forward. Rock it back. Lift it up, hold it, down, shift it forward, rock it back, bring it up, up and into your chest, down, forward, don't just let it plop down, nice and slow, exhale, tap it down, reach, and back, two more times, up, down, forward, and back, last time, up, down, forward, here we go, are you ready? Pick it up, eight, seven, six, pulse it, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down, rock back forward, shoulders over wrists, reach, the back foot back, opposite arm, reaches forward. You are looking down at your mat here. Now, when you bend the knee, you can lift the head slightly. Grab, find that ankle. Press the ankle into the hand to lift, yeah? Pressing it hard, lifting, squeezing. You got this. Last inhale. And gently release forward and back. Keep your belly tight, don't let it go too quickly. That's what happened to me. Both hand and foot down. Press back into child's pose just for two breaths. <sighs> Inhale, rock back forward. Tuck the toes. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, suck the belly in and back to lift up into downward dog. Rock it out if you need to, walk it out, rock it out. Maybe tap opposite shins. Actually, you know what, while we're down here, let's go ahead and get a little twist action. If you are comfortable, take a deep breath. Relax your shoulders. Now, see if you can rock into one side. Pick up your hand, grab the outside of your opposite leg. Look up underneath that armpit and pull, pulling yourself into this twist. <clears throat> Last inhale, exhale, release. Other side, reset a little bit if you need to. Find the opposite outer leg and pull. Pressing hard into the arm that's still on the ground. Pressing hard into the feet. One last breath. And come back to neutral. Lift up on the toes. Bend the knees. Step or hop the feet in. Roll up. Three, two, one. Sun salutation. Inhale, reach up. Swan dive. 
Inhale, flat back. Extend the heart, pull the shoulders back. Fold. Set the hands down. Feet back to plank. Chest forward, elbows back, chaturanga. Pull that chest up, shoulders back, hips up. Upward dog and downward dog. Press it back. All right, right leg up high. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. You all know I'm gonna do it slow. Lift and lower. It's all about that control. Lift, lift it high, high, high. Go ahead and bend the knee. Open the hip. Think about your foot moving back behind you toward the opposite side of your body. That knee is lifting up high. Pressing, pressing, pressing. Option to stay here or if you can, flip your dog. Flip your dog. If you are flipped, take one more breath. Everybody find your way back to three-legged dog. Square your hips back off. Send that right foot back. And swing the right foot through. Knee to nose, plank. Press it back, inhale. Swing through, plank. Inhale, press it back. Last time, swing it through. Step forward, back foot goes out to 45-ish degrees. Starting to lift up by looking forward, reaching forward. Warrior one, the back heel is on the ground. This sway back is not good. I'm going to suck my belly in to pull my hips up underneath me. Did y'all see that? Relaxed. Belly in, yeah? Deeper stretch here. Nice deep bend in that front leg. Lifting the arms up. Deep inhale. Drop those hands back behind you. Interlace the fingers. Press them down and back toward that back heel. Lift the heart. Option to stay here or lift the heart and head. Keep sending that heart forward. Forward, 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 forward. Drop inside of that front leg. Let the shoulders ring out. Now eventually, you will have enough space in your body. If you need to adjust your feet slightly, make your stance wider, go ahead. That you can drop your hips and strive for the top of your head to reach the ground. My mom is there, but not today. Not today. Last deep breath. Start to drop the hands and lift the head. Look forward. Coming all the way up. Everyone come upright. Release the hands and reach up. Heel toe that front foot back to where it should be if you moved it at all. Last inhale. Open. Warrior two. Pulling that belly in and up. Squeezing into the back of that front leg. Looking over the front middle finger. Relax the shoulders. Relax. Drop the back hand out and forward, up and back. And exhale, reach forward and out. Drop that front arm in front of the thigh, side angle hold. Three, two, one. Lift up, reach up, warrior two, exhale. Peaceful warrior, take it back. Exhale, warrior two, side angle again, longer hold. If you have a bind here, now is the time. I'm gonna face this way so I can talk to you about it. The biggest thing in side angle, this is a no-no, just like in triangle. You wanna push those hips forward, bend the front leg so that your torso is over your thigh. Now, if you have your torso over your thigh or on your thigh, you can take this arm, reach it back, grab. <laughs> I'm sure this is a really beautiful turn that I'm doing for you guys. All right, guys. Keep holding. Undo your bind if you're bound. Come back to neutral. Reach up to lift up. I know your thigh is burdened. Reach forward and back, warrior two. Exhale. Peaceful warrior. Straighten that front leg. Reach forward and out. Forward, forward, forward. Set that front arm down, back arm goes up. Immediately here, hips forward, chest back, tummy in. 
lifting that bottom arm. Are you ready? You're gonna turn the chest down, reach forward and turn the toes. Hold, turn the toes back forward, reach the right arm back forward. Find triangle, lift that bottom arm, turn the chest down, open and turn the toes to face the front. We're gonna do this one more time. Turn the toes, reach forward, find triangle. This time, reach that top arm overhead. Extend, extend, extend. Now, reach both. Turn the chest down. Come forward, turn the toes forward, yeah? Sweep the arms back, interlace, and let the chest fall, weight in the toes. Let the shoulders ring out. If you're dying for an inversion now, you can do it. But if you're not, we're gonna do it on the other side. We'll do that. Last inhale, release the arms and lift up to flat back from here. Heel toe the feet in behind your hands, not together, just behind your hands. Step this foot two inches forward. Now, walk hands and toes to the top of your mat. You should be prepped for pyramid. Maybe rock a little bit forward and a little bit back. See if you can get your hips as squared as possible. You can sort of tell if you look up at them. Inhale, chest out and fold in. And just relax for two more breaths. Last deep inhale. Exhale, let it go. And lift up on the back toes. Rock the weight even more forward over that front leg. We are going to do some standing needle work here. You ready? This last thing we'll do on this side. All right, lifting up to 90 degrees. Start there. Do not go any lower than 90. You can have the foot flexed or pointed. Look at your shin. See how close you can drop your chest into your shin. You're gonna be able to get this leg higher. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Just three more. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last time, lift and hold. Lift, 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 reach, reach, reach. And both feet together, bend the knees a ton. Ragdoll pose. What this means is that your legs are bent so much that your chest and your belly are literally resting on your thighs. That takes any work out of your back, puts it in your legs instead, lets you decompress. Bend the knees. Roll up three, two, one. Tree to cleanse. Do tree, whatever leg you just did, if you just did right or left, do that same leg for tree, pick that leg up. Okay. Nice Tadasana. Focus, find your focus. Wrap the belly like a corset, start to rock your weight into one side. Maybe start with your hands on your hips. Turn that leg out, squeeze to the back of the thigh. Start to walk the foot up wherever you're comfortable. Maybe all the way up into the groin. Your hands can be anywhere, literally anywhere. Down, up, out, pick one. I like prayer best, but you pick. You pick what you like. Two more rows. Last deep inhale, you are going to take this leg, grab the ankle, start to bend this standing leg, bring the ankle over the thigh, like you're sitting with your leg halfway crossed. 
send those hips back. Sit down in chair. Use this as a chance to stretch that IT, that outer hip. If you need to go to a wall, go to a wall. Three, two, one. Gently stand up and gently release that leg. Don't let anything snap, nice and mindful. All right, back to the top of your mat. Take one good breath, then a sun salutation. Deep inhale, exhale, sun sal. Inhale, reach up, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Plant the hands, step or hop back to chaturanga. Pull that chest up, hips up, tuck, and press back downward dog. Nice, guys. Give me three leg lifts, left leg. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, tap it down. Left leg up, tap it down. Last time, up. Go ahead and open the hip, bend the knee. Think about pressing that foot back toward the right side of your body. Lift that knee as much as possible. That's gonna give you the deepest hip stretch. If you can flip your dog, Slow. See how slow you can do it. Nice and controlled. Reach. If you flipped your dog, one more breath. Everyone find your way back to hip squared. Three-legged dog. Pull forward. Knee the nose. Press it all the way back. Forward, knee to nose, press it back. Last time, knee to nose, pull it all the way forward, warrior one. Back foot to 45 degrees, pull this hip back. Your hip should be square, reach forward and up. So, sway back, let's take it out of the equation. All this filming, learning a lot about myself. Deep inhale. Take those hands back. See if you can clasp them the weird way, the opposite way. There we go. Press the hands back. Reach back toward the heel. Pressing into both the front and back foot. Pressing the hips forward. Option to stay here or lift the head. Start bringing the chest forward. Forward, forward. Forward and down. If you need to heel toe this front foot, out wider to make space so that you can drop down here. Please do so. Think about pulling this hip back, back, back as you're dropping your head closer to the ground. Two more breaths. Inhale, arms come down, head lifts. Reach forward and out. Fix your front leg if it's gone rogue. Come back to a clean warrior one and inhale. Warrior two, back quick goes out to 90, squeezing into the back of the thigh. Pelvis is slightly tilted because your belly is so tight. Relax your shoulders. Drop that back arm, reach forward and out. Up and back, peaceful warrior. Warrior two, reach forward. Side angle, short hold. Three, two, one. Reach up and out. Exhale, inhale, take it back. And take it forward, longer hold. Option to bind. I'm gonna stay facing this way, keep pressing those hips forward. If you have a bind, reach and then get that chest back over the thigh. Binders take two more breaths. Everyone, unbind, reach up, warrior two. Take it back, peaceful warrior last time. And warrior two, straighten that front leg, reach out, triangle. Find your regular triangle first. 
Think about rolling that top hip open, belly in. Now from here, reach that top arm forward. I'm gonna come face this way now so you guys can see this change. All right, drop the body down, reach forward, turn the toes, and turn the toes back, come to triangle. Lift that bottom arm, turn the chest down, come forward, yep, and open, come to triangle. This time, take the arm all the way overhead, Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Both arms reach overhead. Both arms come forward. Woo, take your time. This side might feel different. Forward and fold all the way in. Now is the time. If you are long in your spine, if your tailbone is facing up to the sky, you can find a tripod headstand you should be making a perfect equilateral triangle with your head and your hands. Your hands should be out toward one edge of your mat and your head should be out toward the other edge of your mat. You should be able to set your knees on your triceps to come up into a tripod headstand. Three more breaths. If you are in tripod headstand, see if you can either pike down or straddle down. Come back into a forward fold here, Dazang. If you'd like to maybe walk your hands out in front of you, take your elbows down. And pull the back of your neck a little bit. and everything down, press up to flat back, heel to those feet in, just behind the hands. From there, I'm gonna face this way so I can help you with the transition. You are going to step this foot slightly forward and then walk your toes and your hands to the front of your mat. Pyramid pose, maybe take a second to rock slightly forward, slightly back. Try to find that nice square position and fold in. Three breaths here. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Let your head be as heavy as possible, especially if you did that headstand. Decompress the neck. Inhale, lift up on that back toe. Rock the weight forward. The closer you drop your body to the leg, the better. Lift this back leg up to 90 degrees. Standing needle work, you ready? Three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, try to keep that knee straight. I just caught myself, lift. Lift it high, as high as you can, higher. And bend the knees. Feet up underneath you, hanging rag doll. You can grasp the elbows or not, it's totally up to you. Let your head hang, maybe shake it, yes and no. Keep hanging. From here, bend the knees, roll up nice and easy. Three, two, one, tree on the other side. We are moving into what I'm gonna call a standing shavasana. We're gonna take our final centering, standing, something a little different. All right, since this was a more energetic practice, rock your weight. After you wrap your belly and focus, rock your weight into your other leg. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep that focus. 
Bring the leg wherever you are comfortable. If you've got it all the way up in your groin, think about trying to press your foot, your foot into your thigh, pressing that heel into the inner thigh. Hands can be anywhere. Deep inhale, gently release the arms, grab this ankle, start to bend the standing leg, bring the ankle over the thigh, start to sit back. Sitting way back, the further back you can sit in your heels and your hips, the better. If you need the wall, go to the wall. You're gonna get some lower leg stabilization though if you don't, which is cool. Stretch and strength. Last deep breath. Gently start to stand up. Don't let that leg snap, release it. Just before we do our standing, closing, roll your ankles. I hope you can see it, that that's what I'm doing. Find your ankles under your hips. Roll your wrists. Take a deep breath up. Nice and slow. Now melt the elbows down, the hands down. The head bows just slightly, belly sucks in, and knees are soft. Hands come down next to your hips, eyes closed. If you feel like you're wobbling, heel toe your feet half an inch apart or half an inch closer together, one of those will probably help. Take a deep breath. Let your shoulder blades slide down your spine towards your tailbone. Let your heart open. Rib cage stays closed. Knees are soft. Just breathe and be. Inhale up through center. Exhale over to the other side. Ear drops to shoulder. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Like you're holding a bowling ball in each hand, pulling your arms heavy. Inhale, head up. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest. Eyes are still closed. Shoulders are back. You should feel your leg bones stacked on top of one another, your hips, your spine, your arm bones hanging, your head hanging. On your next inhale, as slowly as you need to, lift the head and start to open the eyes. Find a focal point in front of you. Take one last good deep breath. Swap. Inhale. Hands together. Reach, stretch, float, levitate. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thanks, guys. I hope that was a good sweat for you. 
I'll do a stretchy one for you guys too. I think that'll be good. All right, see y'all later.